Hello everyone, Clint Seeley here. In this short tutorial, I want to discuss uh, going on the internet, specifically Google, and searching for photos. Not photographs, probably artwork. We're going to be searching for artwork that we can use for inspiration and, and for embroidery digitizing. So I'm going to show you uh, some tips and some tricks on how to really get out there and find some good quality artwork that you can convert into embroidery digitizing. Uh, a short disclaimer, what I'm showing you in the Google Images search result, you might find some stuff that's copyright protected. We want to try to stay away from that stuff. However, if you do use something that's copyright protected only for your own personal use at home, you don't have to worry about copyright infringement. If you start selling things, that's a completely different story. So, head on over to Google. Once we're at Google, I want you to go up and hit the little Images tab here. Get yourself to Google Images, and it's going to say Images underneath. Now, I've been told that owls are really big right now. It's kind of a trending thing. My fiancé told me this. It's big with babies right now. Owls. I do a lot of that kind of stuff. So, let's just start off with owls. They're cute. Um, so, I'm going to type in owl and hit enter and what we're going to see is a lot of photographs and, and blended in with artwork of owls we don't want the photographs this is way too advanced for a beginning level so I'm going to scroll down this is a little trick and you see where it says any type you can select line drawing and now what we're going to have displayed are a bunch of things that look like coloring book pages. Coloring book pages are huge and a great place to start for a new digitizer. Okay, so as we scroll down now, you're going to see a lot of stuff that looks like coloring books. What we're looking for are nice, clean lines. We want a little bit thicker lines. We don't want a lot of fine outlines because that would convert possibly into a running stitch instead of a nice even satin stitch so right here at the top I see something that I, that I like right off the bat this little cartoon character lemming looking owl this is real neat this is a real neat cute looking uh, image and you can kinda envision in your head once you've done this several different times what this fella is going to look like when he's embroidered out on a on a baby blanket or something nice like that. So, preferably, what I want to find are high quality images, large images, PNGs, or JPEGs that are a very large file size. But the mother load would be finding this image in an SVG format, which is scalable vector graphics. And if you've referred back to my previous tutorial, you know why that's important. So, to refine the search down a little more, once we're hovering over this guy, you can go down to where it says more sizes right here. Because as you can see, th this particular image is 662 pixels by 648 pixels. That's not small, but it's not big, so I'm going to hit more sizes. And it usually sorts from the largest file first on down to, and we can see right here, this is over 3,000 pixels wide and this one at the bottom is only 140 we would never use something this small so let's click on this guy <clears throat> now it's gonna pop up that image is going to pop up and we're going to see what it is right off the bat I'm gonna right click on it hit save as and it says PNG image right there I don't want that I want to see first I'm gonna try to find so I'm gonna X that screen out I'm gonna try to see if there's a SVG version and boom we've hit the jackpot right here it says SVG okay and we can download the SVG I'm gonna click that link it looks a little smaller but remember it's a vector graphics we're not working in pixels and if I right click on this one and hit save as it's going to save it as file type SVG that's awesome put it in a put it in a designation folder where you're going to remember it and rename this to something that you like like owl for digitizing and we're going to save that SVG vector graphic and next in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with that and prepare that SVG for embroidery digitizing thanks for watching